up and welcome back everybody. In today's video, it's insane. Me, my cousin Brian, and my buddy Dan head out on a John boat in the middle of the Everglades in search of Burmese pythons. Now we took advantage of the super cool weather to hunt these guys during the day, which is not common. Little did we know we were gonna get so lucky, but you guys have a treat in store, so stay tuned, we'll meet you on the boat. All right, so what we're doing now is we're just combing these canal banks. We're looking at the sun. The sun's over here, right? It's over on the east. Okay. So we're gonna hunt the west side of these canal banks where the sun is shining right up on here. And that's where those pythons are gonna be sitting and sunning themselves. All right, so we just pulled up to Python Island with the boys on the John boat. I have never, honestly, I've never been here. I've been to a lot of places in the Everglades. Not this place. This is sketchy, no lie. But we're out here today looking for pythons. That's our main goal. It's a super cool day. If you guys saw the footage of me yesterday hunting, there was a bunch of snakes, cut about seven snakes. So you wanna come out here on these cool days and find these pythons fast and right there? Yes, sir, that's how we do it. Guys, check out this house. This is great. We should actually like go camping here one yeah, night. Get bit by a diamond bag in this grass. Oh, there's rocking chairs and like all kinds of shit in there. Look at this, oh, man. This is super cool though. Bee nest, oh, there's bees everywhere, woo. I want no part of that. All right, we're getting out of here. There's a bunch of bees, but if you don't freak out, you'll be good. But check out this little walkway. Whoever built this place, man, this place must've been cool when it was first built. Now, a little run down, but this place is awesome. Check out this bench. This is the same dock? No, this is a different dock. The other one was over there. This must be the airboat dock. Whoa! This dock is not stable. No. Oh, big berm, big berm, big berm. Hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. Oh my God, no way, no way! I got him, I got him. Dan! Dan! Go, go, go. No way, no way! Guys, we literally just rolled up on this python. You, no way. Get out of the way. First catch of the day. First catch of the day. Guys, this is what we came out here for is Burmese pythons. This is a fairly decent large one. Watch them. Watch that too. We I don't even care if he bites me. Because I got him. Whatever. Woo! Woo, doggy! We got a python, boys. We got one. He's deep in shed. So he can't see much. We're going to tire him out. Now we're here on a random island we just pulled up on for a few minutes. minutes. We just came to the end of this airboat dock and I saw just a glimpse of this guy. Watch him. Yo! Got him. Wilson! Check that out. We did a puppy. We did That's it. That's it. That's a python right there, boys. Let's go, son. Man, there's a couple brow boards and a 954 cash and Burmese pythons. You know how we do it. This is how we you do it. We it was a cold python, day. Put in an order. Stone will have that order fulfilled in 10 minutes. Yes, sir. Now, Brian, come here. Look at the iridescence on his skin. You see that beautiful iridescence? Look at that. Now this snake, I'd say he's about a yearling. He's about six foot long. And that's typically how long these snakes will grow. Now we walked out on this airboat dock. I did not plan to catch this python, all right? My cousin, Brian, was behind me. I saw just a little glimpse of him. I said, Brian, hold the phone. I was already recording. This is insane. If, if we weren't recording, there's no way we would have we got that on film. These guys are constrictors. He's constricting my arm. This is what they do to all the wading birds in the Everglades. This snake right here has probably eaten hundreds, if not thousands of small mammals and wading birds here in the Everglades. Look at this. Come in, look at this. He's got a bunch of ticks on him. Now this is very common on these Broward County Burmese pythons. They oh, get yeah. a bunch of ticks on them. Oh yeah. Look at his eyes. Now guys, we're not hurting the snake in any way. He's an absolute beast. Nothing we do to the snake is gonna hurt him. Now, if you look at his eyes, they're blue. That's a telltale sign that this snake is going into shed. So you're gonna keep the snake alive? Yes, sir. It's gonna be your new little baby. So what we're gonna do is we cannot release this animal back into the Everglades. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take him with us, throw him in a pillowcase, and get this guy out of the swamp. And oh guys, what Stone is doing is crucial to saving the Everglades. There's only one Everglades in the world, no other ecosystem like it. And Stone is saving this ecosystem by capturing these Burmese pythons. 
Major kudos, buddy. Major kudos. Thank you, brother. Thank, wow. Thanks for being with me. Yeah, yeah. Glad to be here, buddy. All right, y'all. So we just got some nice pictures of this guy. What we're going to do is we're going to bring him back to the jumbo. We're going to throw him in a bag and get him on out of here. Come on. Be very careful. This place is, look, not safe. Man, I knew today was a great day to come out here. We came out here. We put in the work. Me and Brian have been out here for three, four hours. We got the job done. Let's do it. But look at this. Now, I don't just want to leave this island. We found one of these pythons on the end of this airboat dock, so we're going to course and comb this whole entire island and make sure there's none left. Especially because it's around Thanksgiving. There's chance that, uh, you know, families in town. All right, once we put up to this island, we saw a couple nice trees, a lot of palm trees. We knew there was dry land, and we knew there was going to be pythons here. Let's come over to the John boat. Did this dock get farther? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I got us, and I got boots. I'm going to go wait in. Ooh. All right, so we just got this Burmese python. You can see we got him in the sun, so he's getting a little bit more energized up, and he's starting to bite. Now, I can already tell by his tail that he is a, he is a male. Now, his tail is so long, the females usually have shorter tails. So that's how I can tell. Look at this snake. All right, you ready, Brian? We're going to go ahead and bag this guy. Got him. Perfect. Got him two spins and a double knot. He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and secure. Y'all ready to go find some more pythons? Let's do it. Let's do it, son. trail man this trail if there ain't a 15 footer on this trail i don't know where there is one catching pythons on python island boy for you guys that couldn't have happened any better i was filming right when we pulled up on the python my cousin was right behind me to get the camera and we got everything live action on film what <laughs> is this dude this is an alligator pit yo this is an alligator pit you gotta be kidding me, man. We're out here in the middle of an Everglades and we find an alligator pit. Oh man. This is where James and Billy first learned to wrestle gator. Did my first bulldog on these grounds. Bro, this is where Holiday Park used to do the gator shows, you know what? Really? Yeah, they would bring the airboat here, pull up to that dock and they do the gator shows here. That's crazy, I did not know that. Oh guys, I like this area right here. This patch of grass. Keep your eyes peeled in here. What is this? This is another gator wrestling pit. You gotta be kidding me, bro. Look at this. How cool is this right here, dude? Oh my God. Probably a moccasin or something in here, had. Man, oh man. All right, so guys, this is the airboat dock where we just came and caught this python on. I walked over here. My foot almost went through the ground. That noise caused the snake to move over here and I just saw him. He was up in this, what is this, styrofoam? This is like a little styrofoam dock. It not safe. Not stable whatsoever. But this is basically what we caught this guy in. He was just laying on this styrofoam and catching some sun, catching some rays on this cold day. But he wasn't no match for me, huh, son? No, I got bored that camera too, man. <laughs> hey, you know mm. what's going on. Mm. Hey, look mm. at that. I got a born hey. out. Bullshit, man. Mm. Give her two yanks. Hold on, boys. Let me uh, let me actually try. I just haven't done it yet. I can take off the whole calendar. Uh, I'll see. Okay, man. Yeah, because also like I I have a like I dehydrate really fast. I have a medical condition, so that's why like like uh i would i would definitely need like some gatorades or like uh some snacks from the gift shop or maybe like those ice creams the ones that you have like the colombian ice creams that come on like the popsicle stick in the back freezer by like the when you walk into the left and then there's like the, or the cookies and cream dipping dots okay okay thank you uh, if you could, okay. thank you either one's fine right. thank you bye uh, <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so our motor just broke down. We had to call the company we rented it from. Did they all bring the dipping dots? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they better bring Gatorade water, dipping dots, beef oh. jerky. Come they on. better bring it at all. I have at least one of those things. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go off I'll, that man. I'm throwing the python in his boat. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, but honestly, his confidence body skills are like that was horrible. You heard So we just pulled up in here into this little shady spot. We're waiting on a rescue boat. <laughs> I'm getting very fatigued. My health is dwindling quickly. If we don't get back to land and in the next 15 minutes, I'm gonna be below depressive levels as far as my mental and physical health. We have broke down. Ryan, how is it? <laughs> and we're back now if you guys have any idea on how long that burmese python is put your guess in the comments section below now next week we're going to measure the python we're going to put it on video and let you guys know now whoever the winner is we're going to highlight their comment pop it up on the screen and you will be the winner see y'all have a good day